this is a very special issue for us at AutoX because we are celebrating our 150th issue. Now to mark this special occasion, we as driving enthusiasts have decided to find the best driving roads in the country over a stretch of 150 kilometers. And we have divided it into four parts, coast, desert, forest and hills. Now fortunately for me, I have been assigned to do the fourth and what I think is the best leg of the trip. That is the one to the hills. Now although there are some great hill roads in the country, I have gone through this particular stretch between Rikong Pio and Tabo in Spiti Valley. And there are few reasons for that. First of all, the distance between these two towns is exactly 150 kilometers. And then there are other factors such as the scenery, the surroundings, as this is one of the most beautiful places in the country. And last but not least, don't forget that these happen to be one of the world's most dangerous roads. So that means the journey is going to be exciting and adventurous. Now this road trip requires a very capable car and that's why I've gone for the Kicks, the all new SUV from Nissan. What I'm going to do right now is head out and explore Rekong Pier. Although the starting point of our drive is from Rikong Pio, uh, I've done a bit of cheating here because for my night stay, I've come 10 kilometers further up to a place called Kalpa. And the reason for that is that. Now sure, the view is amazing, but Kalpa in itself, it doesn't have anything particularly special about it. I mean, it's not your regular tourist destination and that's why it's untouched. I mean, you don't see regular tourists here. It's, uh, this place serves as a midpoint between Spiti and Shimla. So people uh, going to Spiti, they just come here for an overnight stay. But still, it has its own charm because uh, the weather here is fantastic. I mean, this is April and uh, the day's temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius. Night, it falls down to about 5 degrees Celsius. So if you're the sort of guy who just enjoys, you know, coming on drives, who just enjoys sights like this away from the crowd, so then Kalpa should be on your list. Kalpa falls in the Kinnor district of uh, Himachal Pradesh and that means the culture is a mix of uh, Hinduism and Buddhism and as a result you find some really nice temples and uh, some nice monasteries as well. But again if I have to explore the region I think I'll have to head down to the Kongpyo where the main market of this place is and that's also the starting point for our drive so let's head there. So now we are finally in Rekong Pio. What I'm going to do right now is find a parking spot and then take a walk around. Unfortunately, being a Sunday, the main market in Rikong Pio was closed. However, I still managed to find a few local stores that were open. And I also managed to find a place to serve me the staple diet of this region, some fantastic momos. After a good meal, it was time to call it a night and prepare for the drive to Tabo the next day. So after waking up to some amazing views uh, today morning, it's now time to head out. Uh, it's work time finally. And uh, today is the day when our drive officially starts. So basically, uh, I'm right now in the city center uh, at Rikong Pio and uh, we are going to set off for Tabo. And as you can see, it's exactly 150 kilometers from here. So yeah, let's hit the road. So right now we are stuck in a roadblock. The construction work is on and they are telling us that it will probably take around half an hour. So we are stuck here. That means our progress is delayed by around 35-40 minutes. So the four hour journey would now be close to five. Who knows, there may be more roadblocks ahead.
So now we have covered more than half the distance and uh, Tabo is only 60 kilometers from here. This place right now, it's uh, Nako, it's the highest uh, point of our journey. It's at uh, nearly 12,000 feet above sea level. And again, Buddhism is the main uh, culture here. There's a uh, nice monastery down here and there's a lake as well. If you're heading to Tabo, do stop over for some nice break. Now before we reach Tabo, uh, I'd like to bring your attention to my companion uh, for this road trip, that's the Nissan Kicks. So usually when you go for a drive to Spiti or Leh Ladakh, it's common belief that you need a 4x4 or a car with uh, all-wheel drive at least. But not in this case, this is just an uh, SUV, a crossover, but the way it has handled all the road conditions, it's really praiseworthy. Now, first thing that I love about this car is the comfort. The ride quality is just superb. I mean, you've just seen that we uh, went over some really bad patches of road, but this car just did it without breaking a sweat. Now, the other factor is because it's an SUV, it has got great ground clearance. That means you can go over bad roads without uh, a care in the world. Now, let's talk about its performance. It has got a 1.5 liter diesel engine and this engine has a really meaty power band. So, whenever you're driving up the hill, it's really... Uh, smooth and uh, effortless. I mean, I'm just enjoying the drive. The absolute best thing about this car is the ride and handling balance. You see, this car is fitted with 16 inch wheels, but still the ride doesn't suffer. You can go over bad patches without a care in the world. And this car just gobbles up everything. At the same time, the handling is really predictive and it's really enjoyable. And part of the reason is also it's steering. Now these days, most of the steering are electric, so they lack any feel and feedback. But this one here is a hydraulic unit. And that means it's dripping with feel and feedback. So when you're going around a winding set of roads, you get so much of feedback from the wheel that it's really, really enjoying to drive. And just to make your journey all the more enjoyable, this car is loaded with features. I mean, this here is a nice infotainment screen right here. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can connect your phone. You can listen to your music. Whatever you want to do, you can do it here. Again, there is a 360 degree camera so you can get a nice view of the road around. You can see, check all the space and everything. So again, it was a very comfortable drive throughout and I think I really, really enjoy driving this car to the hills. So as we inch closer to Tabo, I think it's the right time to take a look back uh, at our journey today. So first of all, let's get one thing straight. When we say that this particular stretch between Rekong Pio and Tabo is the best driving road, we aren't implying that you'll find the best roads here. You see, it's been seven hours on the road and we have only covered half the distance. And that's because the roads are in really bad shape. The construction work is on, there are multiple landslides, which meant that there was a delay of close to two hours in our drive today. However, all things considered, I think it's a small niggle in the bigger scheme of things. Sure, these are not the best roads, but the views and the surroundings and the changing landscape more than makes for it. Uh, like for instance, when we started from Rekong Pio early in the morning, it was all lush green around. Uh, but right now, as we are entering Spiti Valley, it has turned into this cold, barren desert highland. And the way these settings change within minutes, it's really mesmerizing. And coming back to the drive, Yes, these are one of the world's most dangerous roads, but there are some nicely paved and silky smooth roads on the way. Especially the stretch between Nako and Tabo. Uh, I think it's my personal favorite because first you climb all the way up to 12,000 feet and then it's a fast drive downhill. So I really enjoyed it. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, there's always this excitement, thrill and a sense of fear when you're driving on these roads. And that's why this particular stretch between Rekong Pio and Tabo is so, so special. standing right in front of the Tabo Monastery, which is uh, one of the holiest places in Spiti Valley. It's also one of the main attractions here because uh, it's more than a thousand years old. But more importantly for us, this place here also marks the end of the fourth leg of our 150th issue drive. And as you've already seen, it's been a crazy and adventurous drive. But again, when the destination is as beautiful as this, it's always worth the effort.
Also, special props to our car, the Nissan Kicks. It did the entire journey without breaking a sweat. It wasn't the easiest of drives, you see, because of the changing terrain. The road network was really bad, but uh, this car here, it did everything flawlessly. So now that the drive is over and my job is done, and there's no internet, no distraction here. So I'm just going to find a nice and isolated place and soak in the amazing views of the Spiti Valley. Meantime, you guys don't forget to pick a copy of our 150th issue. It's a special issue. Uh, it'll be out on stands in May. Uh, so don't forget to pick it up. Not only does it pack this travelogue, there are three more on the best driving roads in India from coast, desert and forest. So do pick it up.